Today is Monday, February 12, 2024. It's 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Market opens in 30 minutes. There are two formula-derived levels up here at 503.96, down here at 498.44. These other dotted lines are there for other reasons. They're important, but let's just take a look at Friday one more time. So the vertical dotted line here is when the beginning of Friday. This line over here is when Friday ended, and you'll see this spike down here, this tail here that ended at 499.60. That was the low of this tail. Well, this tail did not happen in real time. Did not see it in the spiders or in the e-minis, but it shows up on all the other charts, at least in TradeStation. 5, 10, 15, 30 minute, hour, two hour charts. But I do not see this tail candle. Uh, it did not happen in, it's not plotted on other charts like say TradingView and, and other places that I did a little bit of research. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but where it hit is important for a few other reasons because let's just say price fell down pretty fast after the market opens. Well, there's several moving averages right around this, this area. Of course, 500 is important. So I would say this zone is Kind of important for a bounce if they get down there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with 501.18. Like I said, they've been hovering around this level all night. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but that's been the case. So it's just a gap from yesterday, but they're dotted because they're not official formula derived levels. But in any case, we will analyze any trades taken at the end of the day. And just like that, it's about 11 hours later. So the market's closed, obviously. One level was hit. You can see the 501.18. The spiders launched off that after a time, and we were in a long position at this point. The 945 candle closed. We were right above this level. The operating level was 501.23, and we'll take a look at that trade as it was recorded in real time. So shortly after 945, this trade was entered on the long side, looking for four points at two ES contracts. And while they did pull down a little bit, wasn't too worried. All the other charts, everything was in an uptrend, so it's good to trade with the trend. And I'll speed this up a little bit. We'll scrub ahead because I want to show you something when it got to within around three ticks of the profit objective within one point or 10 cents in the spiders right here. It hit it several times. There's first time, second time, a few minutes later, third time, I think four times. And, you know, the expectation is it's going to blow through and we'll get the, uh, we'll get our profit. But if it were to fall all the way back to the, pre to the entry point, I would, would have jumped out and called that a near miss per the rules that I use. But this worked out. Just stair step tire. It's kind of interesting to see. You know, they had some resistance here. They finally busted through it after many tries, several tries. Of course, it's just a one minute chart here. And then um, when they got up here, it hit some interim resistance below this level. It took a little bit of time. And there you see, they busted through. So that was the first base hit of four points in the E minis. And we'll take a look at the next trade. Um, it didn't hit the official level. We had a level here at 503.96 that was calculated this morning. But I put another uh, level here. Uh, it was one of those uh, Fibonacci price extensions from the other day. And I calculated it, thought, well, when price started going up here pretty quickly, I thought it would be a good place to start selling, willing to sell at both places. So I had orders in for both. Let's just take a look at that one. So you'll see me add the new level, 503.39. Later, I adjust the level, the calculated level to 503.90. One, and I had orders to sell it at both of these because they're coming into up into it pretty steadily here. But we'll take a look at this. I'll speed up this chart or speed up the graph, the uh, video, sorry, and see that they hit the level, the first one, the level that was not on the board this morning that I decided to go ahead and start selling at. And that turned out to be the right place because they never really went a whole lot higher. And there you go. Got the base hit on that, and I'll just scrub ahead and show you that continued higher, expecting them to go, or extended this, held this trade out a little longer, hoped they would go higher and I would sell again, but as you can see, it never happened. They ended up going lower, and um, it was around 12.30 or so, I actually had to uh, close up shop, so just as well, they never hit any other levels. Let's take a look at the full day one more time for perspective. So I went ahead and added the, uh, the new level up there that I got before they got any higher, that was at 503.39, 501.23 was the long position, bounced off of here. So those were the two trades, never got any lower <clears throat> than uh, than this, never got any higher than that. So counting this as a one base hit day. So just recording the one level at 501.18, column C, as the single base hit that was traded and profitable today. That's all I have. Hope you found this information interesting. Have a great day.